What is up, App Nation? It is Steve P. Young, founder of AppMasters.com, the place you go when you want action-packed content related to growing your app downloads and your revenue. Today, I'm going all dad mode with this shirt right now, but today's video is all about Google Play ASO, and in particular, the similar apps portion. Here it is, this is the section we're gonna be focused all on. How do you hack your ASO to show up in very popular, so other apps, competitors of yours possibly, but in the similar apps column of the Google Play App Store. Now, we know that on Google Play, that similar app section is huge in terms of driving more downloads for you. So even if you're not ranking well for keywords, that section is gonna really help you drive more growth. So first off is David from checkaso.io. He's gonna share how the category of your app actually impacts the similar apps algorithm. Well, let's get into it then, because I, you know, for one of my clients, full disclosure, we're trying to really figure out ways to get him to show up for one of these top apps, you know, similar apps we know on Google play, you correct me if I'm saying anything wrong but with similar apps, we know it does drive good volume on Google play. So what is, what have you learned on how to really show up for similar apps on Google? Yeah, it really drives very well because uh, uh, as for me, I think this uh, similar app section, uh, the similar app block is uh, most influential and uh, um, and available for analysis source of explore and uh, uh, browse traffic. So getting into similar block uh, can affect your organic uh, uh, metrics uh, such as page views, impressions, downloads. And as for me, I think the main... Uh, I guess everybody knows that the main thing, uh, the main uh, reason for getting to uh, similar app section is the category. You should be the same category uh, as the app you want to be on its page in similar apps. So another great thing is um, I think um, uh, that uh, Google Plays and Apple App Store's algorithms analyze the data um, about your um, users base. So if uh, some users download uh, your app and your competitors app, so uh, you are going to appear in its uh, similar apps block. So and your competitor is going to appear in your similar app block. So and uh, we have also another thing. So I think everybody know that uh, you should work with text uh, in Google Play. Uh, because it's very popular topic nowadays and also you should work with google cloud natural language try to um, make it more uh, understandable for google play algorithms uh, to make them understand what is your app about so they uh, will uh, so they could um, uh, make you appear in uh, similar app blocks Interesting. Hey, David, anything around like long description? Here's what I've tried. Okay. So you tell me, <laughs> all right. I'm like, all right, let me look at the long description. Let me kind of see what they're saying. I've even looked at their app title and their subtitle to try to be like, let me make it very similar to what they have. Does that impact it at all? You don't need to make the similar uh, description with your competitors, but try to uh, mention uh, the keywords that you want to be indexed by. So if you see that your competitors uh, use uh, keywords, for example, uh, if if it's a app uh, with uh, movies, you want to track um, watch movies, watch TV shows or uh, TV show streaming, something like that. You should uh, don't forget about uh, density, you should don't forget, you should don't um, uh, spam the keywords with, with uh, commas, for example, and you should try to make uh, your long description as much as it possible for Google Play algorithms. So um, I advise you and everybody to uh, visit uh, the site of Google Cloud uh, Natural Language so you can just paste your long description and uh, uh, analyze it and see some insights about your description, how um, their algorithms uh, assigns you with, um, with the category you want to be indexed by. Now, I actually want to share some of the things that I've learned while trying to help a client really show up in the top search results for his primary keyword. So we analyze the top 10 search results for this very high traffic 
high competitive keyword and I wanted to really analyze which apps are showing up for what and why. So here's what I found out. Let's go into the screen share. So here it is. Downloads wise, this first app that's ranking for the primary keyword that we want to go after has over a hundred million downloads, over a million reviews. So here are the five apps that's showing up on the similar apps. So this isn't the app that we're analyzing, but here are the five apps, right? That would show up. So I really wanted against, now I'm hiding a lot of details because I don't want to reveal who the app, who the client is, but I wanted to see, okay, downloads wise, are they similar reviews wise? Are they similar? And so here, let's start with this five. So this is the second one. So 5 million. So really there isn't a huge correlation, right? Because why is this 1 million downloads app showing up second for a hundred million downloads app? Okay. And then here, same thing, 5 million downloads for this number two app that shows up for this keyword. They've got over close to 300,000 reviews and look this one. Okay. This makes sense, right? 5 million downloads, very similar, not as many reviews, but 5 million downloads, but a hundred thousand, not even a million, right? Why is this million showing up? Here's a hundred thousand. Why aren't these 5 million showing up? Here's a hundred thousand, hundred thousand, 50,000. So there doesn't seem my hypothesis is there doesn't seem to be a huge correlation between downloads and reviews when it comes to similar apps. Now, what I do think, and here's what we are testing on our end, what I do think is directly correlated is the app title, right? The category, obviously, as David said, is very important. The app title, the short description, and I've even within the long description, tried to highlight some of the competitors that we want to show up for. So like, for example, this app works great with Tinder, Bumble, Grindr, you know, we would start putting that into the long description. Now be careful because Google can penalize you if these are trademark terms, but that's what we've been testing on our end to see if there's a big impact. And if we can show up for more, we're actually already showing up for a lot of these top apps in the, within the similar apps. I want to show up for more. I want to get to that number one, really, frankly. And so we're going to do a lot of testing and we'll share with you when we find out what actually works, but I wanted to give you some exact numbers anyways, to show that maybe downloads and reviews, if you thought those were the primary factors, they actually probably, this is my guess, probably do not translate into getting you on that similar apps section. All right, guys, that's it. Let me know what you thought, because it is something that we're trying out. And I want to share some of these tests that we're trying out for our new clients as we're testing it out and then not just wait. Cause ten, I tend to wait until we're done, but I want to share you what's going on. What I found out on my end. What have you found out? If you know something, let me know. We'll keep it private if you really want to. So reach out to me, steve at appmasters.com or leave a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit subscribe to get all the latest and greatest when it comes to app marketing. All right, until next time, I'll see you on the next video.